Hey guys, it's Dooligracy here and welcome to a brand new reaction video for the Sims 4 Cats and Dogs trailer. They have released yet another trailer. I just can't get enough of these trailers. They get me so hyped for this expansion pack. Like, can't it just come out now? This trailer is focusing on the brand new vet clinic, which we haven't seen anything about yet. So this is extremely exciting. By the way, I just woke up. So if I'm looking a little bit like, that's why. Okay, let's not even wait another second because I haven't checked this out yet and I, I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Let's go. The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs. Become a vet, build and run your very own clinic, and strive to keep Brindleton Bay's fluffiest patients healthy. Welcome to the Pretty Paw Paw Clinic. Uh-oh, Noodles looks a bit under the weather. Right this way, little fella. At the exam table, your sim can diagnose a sickness and discover the proper treatment. An examination is stressful for pets. Keep them calm to ensure a proper exam. Mouth moths, uncontrollable drooling, and stinky fur, P.U. Diagnosis? Mild repugnitis. A healthy dose of parasite killer will clear that right up. Over time, your vet's skill will improve. You'll be rewarded with new abilities, <laughs> objects, and a healthier business. Waiting room empty? Advertising is a great way to attract new patients. Woof, it's getting crowded in here. You'll want to keep an eye on your star rating. Ambiance, bedside manner, and pet stress levels are some of the factors that will affect your clinic's rating. A performance breakdown will let you know how your clinic is doing and areas where you can improve. One and a half stars? Add more exam tables to reduce wait times. Improve your star rating to unlock gameplay perks. As an owner, it's critical to keep your team on their A-game. You can train your employees, praise them, critique their performance, and even promote them. With proper training, your team can create medicine and special treats, making surgeries and exams easier. At the surgery station, scan patients to quickly diagnose and even cure afflictions. Fleas? Glow nose? Icy fur? Nope. Bucky here is in for a little preventative surgery. The old snip snip. Walk it off, champ. In The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs, build, own, and run a vet clinic. I love the music. It's like. Da, 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 da. Okay, this looks amazing. I'm just like all the hand gestures right now because I can't control myself. I just can't wait. Like, there's something about pets in The Sims 4 or cats and dogs in The Sims 4 that just makes me so freaking excited. Like, do you guys feel that as well? Like, it's just like even more magical. There was actually a lot of information right then, so if I didn't pick up on some stuff, it's just because it's the first time I've seen it. Uh, but for initial reaction to it, the world looks amazing, uh, Brindleton Bay, and this is really cool. So it looks like it's gonna run similarly, similarly, similarly <laughs> to The Sims 4 Dine Out uh, with a star rating and the improvements. Uh, which is really cool. I think that works really nicely. Uh, but yeah, we've got some beautiful dog breeds. I reacted to this little hamburger toy. I thought that was really cute. Um, and this vet guy's kind of attractive. Uh, I really have to stop commenting on Sims appearances. It's just weird. It's weird. It's, it's just odd. And I love this build. I love these new signs that you can put on it. And that is a nice bush. That is a nice bush. Oh my god, look at the uh, the pet hedges as well. They're so cute. Love the little poodle. Uh, the, ple the plets, the pets playing out the front. Now this is so gross having the green drool on the cat and then these flies buzzing around. Like that kitty is not looking happy at all. So you can uh, take your or you run the veterinary clinic and people will bring their pets in and you need to obviously figure out what's wrong with them and fix them in order for your vet clinic to run well and upgrade. It looks like you can sell vet things in the fridge there. Oh, the poor little thing. So they're gonna have all different types of symptoms uh, that need curing. And this 
there's obviously a lot of cool like new objects to help test out what's wrong with your pet. Wow, that is not a happy kitty. Not a happy kitty at all. Love the vet uniforms as well. Uh, oh, that's so nasty. Ah, even the stench. Okay, and obviously she's figured out what's wrong with the pet, so maybe there's a bit of trial and error, a bit similar to Sims 4 Get to Work maybe. Um, and then spraying it down is going to cure that cat, and obviously the kitty's looking all good again, and that's a happy uh, pet owner, which means your veterinary clinic is gonna go up in its rating and do better. Which means you can earn a little bit more money, so you can advertise as well. I think we just saw then, yeah, a fridge. So I think you're gonna be able to sell some medicinal products for your pets. Maybe this frock is incredible just there. I love that. I love how the cat's on the table as well and how the pets are being held and it's just so natural, the animation. It's very impressive. It's just beautiful. Oh, 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 did you guys see all those stacks of books just then? Love that. Absolutely love that. Uh, okay, so, all right, so this is very familiar to us if you played The Sims 4 Dine Out or if you've seen any Let's Plays of that. Um, so this is a menu that has been existing in The Sims 4 Dine Out and now it looks like it's been redone uh, to be for vet clinics. So you've still got your adjustment here of your employees and your business. You can advertise, like I said. Gradually your star rating is going to go up if you run your vet well and you can see how many customers you get in How many profit you how much profit you make um, perk points So as they said in the trailer, you're going to be rewarded with things to help run your business um, more effectively business funds uh, this is familiar as well. You're going to be able to I guess choose how much money you put into your business from your sims um, wealth and then uh, you can transfer it in and out which I really love that I think that's kind of a nice realistic but also very simple way um, for that to work in the game this is not a these are unhappy <laughs> unhappy campers uh, okay so this is an example of pretty poor poor clinic going pretty badly or pretty poorly oh god so the growth opportunities ambience, so making it look a little bit nicer and the wait time, um, so maybe hiring more staff or as some of you will say, staff. I don't know why I said that. And then pet stress is very good. So I think you can calm down the pets. I'm not really sure how they said to fix that. Uh, okay, so now she's gonna build another section and this looks really cool. She's got like three vets working at once. So that's pretty, that's pretty awesome. And look at all of these like cool little cookie things, uh, examination tables and this thing. That is the most adorable plant ever. <laughs> that is so cute. I want that in real life. Why do we not have Sims merch? Uh, this, oh my God, is that a chow chow? That looks like a chow chow tail. I think that's a chow chow. It doesn't look as, no, it's not fluffy enough around the head. It looks similar to a chow chow. I got so excited then. <laughs> if there's like a chow chow in any of the upcoming trailers, I will absolutely lose it. Uh, so what's this guy doing? I forgot, I think this is, trying to fix how employees work maybe okay so she's like great job you did well okay and you can create your own medicines i think which that gave me a fright uh so maybe you'll be able to sell your medicines in the fridge i don't know i'm just guessing maybe and this looks like a pill kind of and this is so cute. Imagine going in there. The doggy must be so scared. <laughs> uh, that was weird. That frozen fur. I kind of liked it though. And I love how it, <laughs> the little image is so funny. And he comes out and he has no hair and he has that thing around his head. It's so cute. Oh wow. That is a nice bush. And yeah, that, that is it. I just want to go back and replay this section because I didn't really quite understand that. 
Let's just play it. To unlock gameplay perks. As an owner, it's critical to keep your team on their A game. Uh -huh. You can train your employees, praise them, critique their performance, and even promote them. With proper training, your team can create medicine and special treats. Okay, so medicines and special treats can be created, which is awesome. And then I would assume you might be able to sell them afterwards. Uh, so yeah, that's really cool. Well, anyway, you guys, let me know what you thought about this trailer. Are you guys as hyped as I am for this expansion to come out? I am so excited. Oh, I just can't wait. It's taking too long. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And smack that notification bell to get updates on when I post a video. And yeah, I hope you guys are having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. And I am very excited to speak to you guys soon. Bye.